to you friend, welcome back to our channel, our topic today is titled, Walking in Love, with that said let's start, our memory text for today's lesson is coming from the book of Exodus 19 verse 5 to 6, the Bible records, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, verse 6, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation, these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, Amen, and Amen, friend, in one sense, there is no great mystery to God's law and why he wants us to keep it, if someone's child was standing next to a ten-foot ledge, would not that person not want his child to step over it, of course, but why, the answer is simple, the law of gravity will cause the child to hit the ground at a specific, calculable rate, that will cause the child harm, in conjunction with this example, friend, the love of God, underlies every percept of his law, the commandments are designed for our happiness, and those who violate them, bring upon themselves, ruin, friend, how does God, promise to accomplish his purpose of bringing his people into conformity to the divine principles expressed in his holy law, friend leave your comment in the comments section, but essentially, he will write his law within the people's hearts and through this change their stony hearts to obedient hearts that are ready and willing to obey his holy word, this is supported by Bible verses, including, Jeremiah 31 verse 33, Ezekiel 36 verse 26 to 27 and Hebrews 10 verse 16, Amen and Amen. The law of God is not a matter of doing as being, the Ten Commandments, law is a code of principles, more than of rules and regulations, of do's and don'ts. God desires that, these principles shall become, the principles evidence ten our characters, this is what, he means, when he promises to write, his laws in our hearts, he will make them, the very warp and woof of our lives, when this happens, we are then, walking with Christ and indeed walking like Christ, and in harmony with his percepts becomes our way of life, isn't that cool, oh yes, it is cool, beautiful, glorious, blessed and above all godly, and through this we are guaranteed of everlasting kingdom, because we are in the sure path to it that is Christ is our guide and guard, and since we are with the only mediator between us and God, then we are automatically, right with God, and directly in the book of life, Amen and Amen, hope you were blessed with today's lesson, please share to bless others, like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more blessing content, see you in the next video by God's grace, God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord, Amen and Amen.